video, we're going to show a demonstration of our Angle of Arrival demo kit. This demonstrates the new Bluetooth 5.1 Angle of Arrival location technology. Now, before we launch into the demo, I'm going to drop in a little physics lesson on, on how this stuff actually works. If you don't want the physics lesson, you can skip ahead. Now, we already have some uh, localization capabilities in Bluetooth, so, so what's the reason for this, this angle of arrival stuff? Well, um, what you have at the moment is, is beacons, which um, are crude positioning technology, really. Um, the problem with beacons is they work off signal strength, and the problem with signal strength is that whilst in, in a completely open space environment, um, that will give you a reasonable proxy for, for distance. Um, as soon as you have things in that environment, it starts to not really work so well at all. Um, so for example, if you have people, uh, they, they nicely absorb 2.4 gigahertz radiation that, that is used by, um, by Bluetooth. Um, and so once you have people in the way uh, of a beacon, if anything, the other side of those people will seem much further away than it really is. Uh, and there's not much you can do about that. Um, it, it's a fairly basic problem with the technology. So then what we came up, what well, Bluetooth SIG people came up with is angle of arrival. Um, so for this, what you have is a, a, an anchor device which has an array of antennas. So it has uh, multiple antennas. Um, so here we see this uh, Thing for determining angle in one dimension, uh, it's got four antennas in a line. Now, if the signal is coming at an angle to to the this this anchor array, um, so I not square on, but but at, a, at some different angle, um, then what you will find is that as a as a as a wave front um, from a, from a peak in the wave arrives. Um, it's coming in also at an angle uh, and so then as this wavefront hits the um, the antenna array um, you see it, it, it goes through like this so it, it goes through the antennas in, in sequence now you're not measuring the, the time difference between the arrival of this wavefront and these antennas but what you because that doesn't work very well either for, for reasons I won't go into, but what you can detect uh, rather better is the phase difference um, across these, uh, these antennas. So by measuring the phase difference, um, you can determine the angle at which the signal is coming from. So if it's square on, the wavefront will hit all the antennas in phase. Um, and if it's coming at a different angle, there'll be phase differences between those antennas. Uh, so now one point to note is that um, the, um, the separation of these antennas then has to be a certain distance to make sense. Uh, if you put them too close, you won't be able to resolve the phase difference and, and it turns out you need to have a, a certain fraction of a wavelength apart. So this means the, the anchor array has to be quite large. In fact, you, you can't miniaturize it um, in the way you can miniaturize a, a simple Bluetooth module. So you, you do end up with, with quite a like, large device. So that's a sort of one dimensional example. So what we actually have in, in our demonstration um, is this two-dimensional anchor array. Uh, so it has uh, an array of 12 antennas uh, arranged in two dimensions. And from this, you can determine angle in two, two dimensions. Um, so that gives you quite a good localizing capability, especially if you combine it with, with other um, anchor array somewhere else. Um, or alternatively, in, in the demonstration we'll do, we, we're gonna mount it up in the ceiling and then you can detect in three dimensions effectively some things on the floor because you, you know the height between the ceiling and the floor if you input that you can then in effect localize more or less in three dimensions um, so let's move on to the demo so let me just explain the demo and, and what it is we did so here you have a, a real life example of the anchor board with its uh, antenna array held by ULA um, so this gives you, you an idea of the real life size of the thing 
Um, now, Insight SIP is, is well known for miniature devices, but as I said before, this uh, this anchor array needs to be a certain size to function, so we really can't make it any smaller. So the anchor board is based on a reference design from Nordic Semiconductor, um, but we've actually created a, a real device, uh, optimized it, um, and it's ready to go. So what we did was we mounted this in the ceiling. Um, so on the right, you can see it uh, close up in the ceiling, in place of a ceiling tile. And then on the left, you can see that in the room. Um, then on the floor, we have a, a grid uh, of yellow dots. Um, so um, these mark, you know, using the, the, the carpet tiles to, to make out a nice even grid. Uh, and so then Land Hue will walk around with a tag device, so, so the device that's going to be located um, around the grid. And you can see um, two visualizations of, of the position. Uh, one is uh, seeing the, the angles, the angle information in, in two dimensions. Um, and the other is uh, looking at a, a, a visualization of the grid and, and the movement around it. Um, so whilst you have a resolution effectively in two angles, so sort of two dimensions as it were, though if you obviously know the height to the floor, um, then you can also effectively have a 3D uh, position. Ready? Mm -hmm.